yeah, listen up, right? Don't go there with that long count shit. Because on the second round, the, the so-called long count that happened, right? Um, in the in the fourth round, on the second knockdown, on, on Fury's second knockdown, the only, the only way that knockdown and the, and the so-called long count came about was because it was a punch to the back of Tyson's head. Everybody could see it. You can see it. So it's a right up to the back of, of Tyson Fury's head, yeah? So don't go there with that fucking long thing you count, that long count, that fucking long count shit, yeah? That's just bullshit excuses again. What the fuck? The guy's dominating and battered him three fucking times, okay? He scored two, two legitimate knockdowns against Tyson Fury in the three fights that they've had, yeah? But the other two knockdowns were punched to the back of the head. And in my point of view, really, and there's a lot of people who think the same as me, by the way, people who have been hit, dropped with a punch to the back of the head should be given at least five minutes' time to recover from. Do you know what I'm saying? It should be a fucking law. It should be a rule and a fucking law put into boxing, all right? If you get dropped by a punch to the back of the head, you get at least five minutes to recover from it. And by the way, it takes a bit longer than five minutes to recover from one. I've had it myself. I mean, like, so I know what it's like. Yeah, and that's why I'm so passionate about it. Anyway, like I said, that's what that's the rule that they should instill in it. And don't go there with that long can't shit, because like I've just said, the knockdown on that so-called long can only happened from a right up to the back of Tyson Fury's head. Just like when he got dropped in the, for the first time in the first fight in the ninth round. That was to the back of the head as well. Do you know what I'm saying? So there you go. You ain't got no fucking argument where that's concerned. So drop that shit. And like I said, what we should be fucking doing here is like um, instilling a fucking rule into professional boxing and amateur boxing that when you get dropped by a punch to the back of the head, right, you automatically get at least five minutes to recover, at least. Because let's face it, in boxing and UFC and MMA and everything, right, the fucking, um, in that, in that, in them world, that world day and shit, you get at least five, like five minutes to recover from a punch, to, a low punch to the groin. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what you get. And that's a punch to the groin where you've got to protect someone as well. So this is fucked up rules, man, what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Because this should at least five minutes for a person who's been dropped to, by a punch to the back of the head or who's unsteady after rising from a punch to the back of the head or who's unsteady from, looks like they're going to fall down when their legs go because that's where it hits the brain stem at the back of your head, right? Your, <clears throat> your brain stem, which, which can be detached from your, from your, your spine because it's connected and that's how you get paralysed I and mean, seriously brain damage. But like I say, like, like I'm saying, you should get at least five minutes to recover because you get five minutes when you've been hit low. Do you know what I'm saying? And these fucking refs and these officials ain't giving these fuckers who do these fucking back behind, behind the head shit on purpose. They ain't fucking warning them with exclusion from the fucking sport, which is the way they should be. They should be warned for that shit. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, drop your, drop your long can bullshit. Do you know what I mean? Wild as a knobhead, man. Do you know what I mean? No respect. What, what, will you respect the man when he, when he kills him? Do you know what I'm saying? Is, it, is that the only person that he would respect is somebody who actually kills him? Do you know what I'm saying? Somebody who murders him. Will he, be, will he show respect to that? Because, I mean, he virtually got killed in that fight as it was. You know what I mean? Cold out, man. <laughs> Bye. Mr. Feather Duster Fist. You know what I'm saying? Karma and justice has been served. There you go. It's now, right, it's time to fight back to Deontay Wilder. Demonte Wilder, by the way. Demonte, all right. Demonte Wilder. Yep, it's like Tyson Fury said, evil don't overcome good. I said good overcomes evil. You know what I mean? And Tyson showed his heart, man, the way he is as a person. He loves everybody. I know he gets like involved in sh stuff, shouting and all that, but you know, that's... That's like the, you know, that's like um, things get heat in that, don't they? I mean, before fights and shit. I mean, like, but anyway, like I say, you know, is um, what we should be saying now, chanting back to Deontay, Deontay Wilder, because he's proving himself to be a demon, because he can't accept the fact that he's been beat by a fat white guy. Because that's the truth of it, by the way. That's the real truth. He can't accept it. You know, somewhere in his warped little fucking brain, he thinks he's unbeatable where fucking white guys are concerned and fat white guys are concerned. It's fucking racist, isn't it? I, I, I believe he is, by the way. Because I'm not sure if he would be the same as he is with Tyson, all right? So disrespectful and stuff. And, and I, you know, not, I'm not willing to accept defeat for the third fucking time. 
and the most inconclusive third time, by the way, by, uh, like, um, he can't accept it because it's a fat white guy. You know, he's got big muscles and shit. And all them other boxes and that, got big muscles. It just goes to show you what people have been saying, what types of have been saying, what people have been saying for years. Muscles don't win fucking fights, man. Do you know what I'm saying? It's heart, mind, okay? And skills and power. And Tyson had more power than Deontay Wilder, Demontay Wilder last night. So it's, got your gone, squad! You're gone, squad! Yeah, you're gone, all of you. Demonte, the rest of his fucking package. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's what he deserves, you know what I'm saying? There you go. That's it. That's what I've got to say about these things. It's a three thing thing that I've talked about. That's been um, the punch to the back of Tyson Fury's head in the fourth round, which caused the second knockdown, right? That, right? That so called long can only came, about, came, only came about, right? The fact that Fury got hit to the back of the head and that's what dropped him. You know what I'm saying? This was an illegal shot. That was that. So it don't matter no fucking, you got no fucking, you got no argument with that fucking long can shit. Because there's an illegal shot that dropped him. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, there you go. That's that. And then there's like me saying, the rule, the new rule in boxing and UFC, person hit to the back of the head, should be tra the same, it's much more dangerous than being hit below with a fucking protector on. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, they get five minutes to recover from that. They just get ten minutes for that, five, ten minutes. Do you know what I mean? And people who are, who are staggering, they don't have to be dropped. But if they stagger after a punch to the back of the head, a direct punch to the back of the head, right? They should be given time to recover too. They don't have to go down for it. If if, if they if their legs go, because that's what happens, what to me, right? You know, back of the head shots, take away your fucking balance, your your stability and stuff, you know what I mean? Anyway, and that's that, okay? And then the other one was, what was it? Oh, John Tay, what Demonte Wilder and the squad, all right? You're gone, squad! Gone. That's it. Three times you're out. End of story. See you later. Oh, I'm going to do another Tyson vid soon.